Hey, Scott, it relates to the Fed indeed. The Fed releasing their biannual report on the state of financial stability. The overall headline of this very long report is that the Fed believes the financial system is stronger than it was, say, in 2008 and in many ways stronger than in the months leading up to the pandemic. Fed Vice Chair Lael Brainerd said in a statement that, quote, indebtedness has remained stable and, quote, on average, households and businesses have maintained their ability to cover debt servicing despite rising interest rates. However, she added that, quote, rapid synchronous global monetary policy tightening, elevated inflation and high uncertainty associated with the pandemic and the war raises the risk that a shock could lead to amplification of vulnerabilities, for instance, due to strained liquidity in core financial markets or hidden leverage. Now, the Fed looks at a framework of four key vulnerabilities, potential vulnerabilities, asset valuations, borrowing by businesses and households, leverage in the financial sector, and funding risks. They say in the report that asset valuations have come down since the last report six months ago in May and become notably more volatile. The banking system remains well capitalized, as the Fed said during the stress tests over the summer as well. The Fed said short-term funding markets continue to have structural vulnerabilities is just given the high uncertain economic outlook, but said funding risks at domestic banks are low at this time. The Fed also included a survey of 26 outside experts for what they see as the biggest risk over the next year and year and a half. The top cited risk was persistent inflation and monetary tightening, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and volatility. Uh, So perhaps some signaling to the Fed in that survey, Scott.